IL2 North Atlantic A Condor Maritime Reconnaissance Aircraft Locates A British Escort Carrier After the UK Suffers horrendous Convoy losses They employ Light aircraft carriers to defend their maritime. June 1942. Admiral Nagumo's dilemma is now Admiral Schmutz's dilemma. The Kegs Marine Admiral decides to break up his single carrier force from the Peter Strasser, one flight of fighters to cap protect the Peter Strasser. A second flight of Feisler biplane bombers and Ju-87 naval Stukas to attack British maritime shipping. And the third flight of Arado torpedo bombers will fly to the known position of the enemy aircraft carrier and conduct a strike against the HMS Archer light aircraft carrier. It's all or nothing for the Kegs Marine carrier fleet. So here we go. So we've located the enemy aircraft carrier and designated as a target. You see that red target diamond right over the enemy fleet carrier. We're given our wingman commands to attack our target. There's enemy fighters overhead, so we're going to have to stick low to the deck and hope they don't see us. My loyal wingmen have just advised of enemy torpedo bombers off to our starboard side. No doubt their mission is to attack the Peter Strasser. We must defend. Guns out! Oh, target hit. Target destroyed. Get out! Get out, man! Let's take a look from our exterior camp. And we see enemy bombers underway just to our right. And we're low and slow to the deck, but a British swordfish is slower. So we catch one with a deflection shot. And it's a good idea to arm torpedo bombers with 20 millimeter cannons. So let's resume our torpedo run on the HMS Archer. There's our target. British AAA have taken down one of our wingmen. And we're going to turn in at an angle in between the escorts 
so their gun traverse will have to momentarily stop. Torpedo away! gunfire but we take a big hit and wham a solid torpedo hit amidships and it looks like a fatal hit to the HMS Archer okay we're gonna try to limp back to base Our control surfaces are damaged Fleet Air Arm Martlet has located us and looks like he's going to turn in. He's going to go up high and come down for a hammer and anvil kill shot. Almost out of airspeed. We're going to turn and just avoid his gunfire. And that's my rear gunner taking shots at the Martlet. Pick up the Martlet again to our starboard. Drop in, try to get some shots in on him passing. No, and the Martlet went in. I don't know if it's from our gunfire or he pulled a bad maneuver. Nevertheless, the Arado still flies. Here's an exterior view of the action. And the Arado uh, just gets by an overhead passing shot. Low speed. Defensive gunfire. And we turn into the enemy just at the right time. Shots off at him. Almost go into the water. Our flaps down. Help us avoid dumping the plane. But our enemy goes into the sea. All right. Enemy swordfish torpedo bombers did not locate the Peter Strasser. It's still our home base. And we're on final. And this is going to be a challenging landing as our aircraft has a lot of damage to its control surfaces. But we're on final and we're going to call the ball. Throttling back. Approach looks good. Well guys, we're going to have to give this victory Again, to the Peter Strasser. Our losses to Martlets were all our Feislers and two JU-87s. Touchdown! I will be the only surviving Arado torpedo bomber. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. It sure was fun to play. Again, IL-2, a mission builder. Endless scenarios. Lots of fun. We'll see you up again soon.